Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. What have I been up to? I uh, am trying to... Let's see. We are exploring uranium. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this crane over here to the uranium facility. And then what I want to do is I want to explore the facility a little bit. And yeah, we'll just go from there basically. So what I'm doing now is I'm just slowly crawling across the bridge. Trying not to crash. Hopefully I'll make it. And not crash. Hopefully I'll make it. We got five kilometers to go. Perfect. Yeah, it should have been a quick. Should have been a quick trip here. Uh, the vehicle does seven, uh, seventy kilometers an hour, and this is only a twenty-kilometer trip. Uh, but I've just been recording for almost an hour here. And I only made this, I only made it about 10 kilometers. So, I'm not sure what's going on with the game here. And here we are crossing the bridge. This thing, this massive crane. Try not to hit the lights. So we just have to cross this part and then I'll be at the facility. I guess it is gonna be dark there, so. Maybe the sun will come up by the time we make it. Speed here 72. And we are going at not bad. Look at our look at our 100% frame rate 99% for FPS was it hit 38 there. Yeah, once I planted the oil rigs, the game slowed right down. I'm just doing, I'm just doing too much. Just keep breaking the game. I keep doing too much, breaking the game. Yeah, doors are open. That means I already did explore uh, the inside of this one. Oh yeah, this is where we come to my gold. That's right. My gold is over here. We got four kilometers to go. Perfect. Here, I am gonna save it here, and I might. Reloaded here. It's just see if, I, see if I can get a boost in the game. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna uh, load. See if I get a boost here. Sometimes I gotta load a couple of times in. Um, I've had issues where sea cans spawn halfway in the ground and they try to destroy themselves. And that'll slow the game down, so I find if I reload a couple of times, I don't, you know, the sea cans don't spawn in the ground, they spawn above the ground, and I don't have those issues, so. Welcome to the stream! There we go, that was good, that was good. You can do it, you can do it. 
let's see. Oh yeah, there we go, that's better. Yeah, much better, much better. All right. So we are heading over here to the uranium facility. Uh, I want to set the crane up there and then I just want to explore the, around the facility. That's pretty much what this video is going to be, just a setup. And then in the next video, we will actually go and mine the uranium, right? I'll have to make it back, set up the trucks. Still have two more trips to make. I have to get the excavator out to the uranium mine. And then I need to, uh, I need to get the bins out there. So that's gonna be the interesting thing. I'm not too sure, I, I have a low bin and I hope it works. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I am getting sick. I do want to apologize and uh, do my best here to uh, hammer out these next couple of videos. But I might, might be taking a little, uh, few days off here just to get through this. My daughter's doing good. She got over her cold. It's, you know, it always goes. As soon as she recovers, I get sick. But I don't mind because it gives me the opportunity to take care of her um, while she's not feeling good and all that kind of stuff while I still have energy. And then that way, you know, I can be all right. I got big shoulders. I can, I, I can weather it. It's no big deal. It's nice to be able to care for her and not be sick. But every year, it's every time it's the same. As soon as she gets over it and she's feeling better, it's it's dad's turn to uh, to get sick. So that's where we're at. I'm sure it's just a cold. She seemed to be she seemed to handle it pretty good. So I imagine it's just a cold. So. That's usually how I gauge it. How bad do the kids get, <laughs> right? Is it worth putting a mask on or not? I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine that. Kids all sick, not feeling well. You come in with a mask on, right? Uh, you know, germs. All right, yeah, so we're just making our way across here. It is taking a lot longer than I thought to cross the map with this tractor. So what do we need it for? What do we need this crane for? Well, uh, the way that they have this facility designed is a little bit strange. So I guess I'll explain more when I get there, but essentially there's a ramp that you have to drive up to. And then on either side of the ramp, there's these tubes and you have to dump the uranium into these tubes. And then the uranium will be processed and then it gets spit out at the bottom of the tubes. Uh, but I don't know how, like, so in every other facility, like literally in every other facility, okay, uh, there's a chute for where the ore comes out. Even in the Arctic, there's a chute there at the uranium processing facility which in my opinion is better than this facility or this facility is, is kind of junk. And you'll see what I mean in a minute here um, because I'm just starting to question like, yeah, I'll have to do one, one playthrough and see how it works and then I'll just decide. I think I'm gonna end up using the Arctic facility instead of this one here. All right, so now why haven't I done, okay, so let's see, let's, let's before we get to the, the wise, let's just talk about uranium for a minute. So, they introduced uranium into Stormworks, okay? Uh, when they introduced this island, the industrial expansion, they turned off uranium processing in the core game. So if you purchased the core game and you tried to play through Classic Career and you unlocked uranium, it was useless. You could mine it, but you couldn't reprocess it. I have a video, I spent about eight or 10 hours going through it. So I read in the patch notes somewhere about a month ago that they did turn on uranium processing in the core game. So after I purchased the industrial expansion, I went back to the Arctic 
and I still couldn't process uranium in the Arctic. So, these next couple of videos, what we're gonna do is, I just slowed down there, that's me, I slowed down so I can cross this bridge. We are going to uh, mine uranium here on the continent, and then we're gonna reprocess it here at this facility. And then we're also going to take uranium to the Arctic and we're going to see if we can reprocess it in the Arctic. And then what we're going to do is we are going to look at the cave underwater where we can mine uranium. So that's what I want to do. I do have a submarine that is set up for mining uranium. I just have, I just have a couple of, um, I don't know how to explain it. It sits on the back of a ship and the ship together so it sits on the back of the ship because you have to unload um, the uh, you have to unload the submarine once it's full right so if I just come back here to the docks let's say and I despawn the ship I lose all the uranium that's inside the ship it doesn't there isn't a storage for raw uranium there's only a storage for the processed pellets so once you start extracting uranium the whole process of handling it until you reprocess it is live, right? So, similar to the way that we handle all the other ores, right? You have to reprocess them. You can't store them until they've been processed. Yeah, so that's kind of the idea here. Is that we're gonna go here, we're gonna process it. We're gonna see how that works. You'll see what I mean, how, how I think this facility is designed poorly and the way they designed the original facility is far better. Right, all these other facilities, there's a chute that you can park underneath. So when the processed ore is processed, it drops down into your bin. But here, the processed ore comes out on the side. And I don't know if, uh, I don't know if um, it shoots into the bin or if it just drops on the ground and then you end up having to pick it up by hand. That I'm not sure, but we are gonna, we are gonna uh, figure all that out here. All right, so this is the facility here. I'm gonna go a little bit further, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, I'm gonna do this here. Let's just turn this down for a second. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is, come over here while the game is running all slow and crappy. I'm gonna put my hazmat suit on. And, uh, there, well, uh, let's see here. Okay, and then I can just drive right in there. I don't have to worry. So, if you get too close to the facility, you'll become radiated, all right? Once you get radiation sickness, the only way to cure radiation sickness is to sit in a medical bed. That's it. Okay, you can't, can't cure radiation sickness with bed packs. All you can do is replenish your health. But if you get radiation poisoning, you gotta sit in a medical bed. That's the only way to cure it. So we'll start with that. And then, also, there might be a couple crates over here. I haven't explored this facility because uh, I never had the ability to do it, right? You get close and you get radiated. Now we have the ability to do that. So that's what we are going to do. Yeah, so I got a runny nose and I'm sniffling and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I figure probably what I'll do is uh, I'll put up this video here and then I might, depending on how things go the next couple of days, uh, I'll just take a few days off. Streaming. Okay, so this is the facility here. Uh, maybe what I'll do is, uh, it's the middle of the night, maybe what I'll do is I'll, uh, 
I was gonna skip time, but there's crates here and I don't want to skip time because then you know what happens when you skip time, right? All right, so this is the facility here. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. All right, so I want to set up. Let's, uh, reverse. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn on the e-brake here for the Jeep. All right, so as you can see, those tubes, here. this is the uranium processing facility. All right, so these tubes, are where you process the uranium. So I'm not sure where the best, probably the best place to set up is actually on, on the actual ramp. Gotcha. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll back up to the top of the ramp here. So you see how the uranium comes out low and it comes out on the side. So I don't know, I, uh, I'm not sure. We'll have to process a little bit of uranium to see how this works. All the other facilities you can drive below the funnel and you can empty right into the funnel, which to me is, is perfect, right? But not this facility. This facility here, the funnel's on the side. All right, so we'll come around here. I'll turn around and I'll have to drive up the ramp, I guess. Got it. Uh, let's see. <sighs> All right. Come up here, I'll set up here. This is where we have to set up. See, now I'm wondering if this was if this was set up for just small little bins. Like, obviously, you probably don't need a whole lot of uranium. I don't know, but you see the way it's set up here? It's, it's a little awkward. I'll go right to the edge here, right to the edge. <laughs> we'll do that, we'll turn on the brakes. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this rolling while I'm... Uh, perfect, there we go. Feet are down. Stay where it is. Uh, where is the crane? Is it over on this side here? Maybe it's on this side. Uh... Oh, it's here. Unlock crane. Oh. <laughs> it's so tall, right? Like, it's so tall. All right, so we're down, we're set up. Let's, uh, Is it that one in Anchor? Is it? No. Is it 
Ow. That one there that angers it. All right, now we're set up. We're anchored and we're not going anywhere. So that's the crane. I'm just going to leave this here for now. Uh, and that'll pick up bins off the side. And then what I want to do is let's just explore this facility. It's pretty big. It's pretty big inside. Oops. So this is the nuclear power plant. It is a massive area. There's a rail line that runs right through here. Is that a, a crate over there? I don't think so. All right, and then we'll go inside here. This is the part that we can explore where the, where the meltdown happened. Quite the facility, uh, and then you could purchase the dock over there. So maybe I'll go over there and check that out after as well. All right, so we'll go inside the mega reactor. Crates. Not yet, anyways. Uh, where are we going here? Let's see this. It's through there. What's this the control room? <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. That's the control room. Okay. Uh, if we can get through the facility over on this side here. Upstairs to see if there's anything upstairs. Now this goes way up. Look at the stairwell. It goes way up. Ah, way up. And there's a couple of floors that we can actually check out here. It's fine, and then we get into the stream, and uh, I'm gonna load. I'm gonna load that. Come on, no, we can't. Can't accept six. Come on, this way, just for six resource points. I don't think so. Minimum nine. Minimum nine. When it comes to those crates. I start recording, and I was just like, ah, I think I'm gonna start to run now. And not stop. Thank you, Nose. You're, you're a champion. You're always, always looking out for the little guy. <laughs> That's good. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? 12. All right, I'll take it. This is a big. All right, this just comes out here, right? Eh? And then into the middle. All right, so I think we'll go, we'll continue on upwards. I don't know, the other side is melted down, so I don't think we can get through the other side there. We'll go upstairs and see what's available upstairs. Check it out the 
window. There we go. Nice. <laughs> we can just jump right up the flight of stairs. All right, now I don't know what, this is a big kind of open facility here. Don't see any crates. That's what we're hunting for now, right now is the crates. No, I don't see any there. Looks like there's one more area to check up there. And then that'll do it for this. Abandoned facility. It's a good thing my flashlight is full. Not low. Usually the flashlight's on red for battery. So we got one crate. We got one single crate for exploring. Uh, then the last thing we can do is check down there. There might be another crate. There might be one in there. So I am going to go and check there. Oops, where am I? Let's... Let's go back down. game caught up to itself. There we go. All right, so we got the crane set up now at the nuclear facility. Now we're pretty much ready to, to go and get the uranium. From the cave, there's a cave there with the uranium in it. hanging out there with toxic waste in them. No big deal. No big deal. Alright, so let's run across here. I don't know how much it costs to buy uh, this facility. There's crates over there. That's a good amount of crates. This is why I didn't I don't want to skip time anymore. Not here anyways. You know, there's almost 10 this is a big port, so three workbenches, I think is here, three workbenches. See if there's something in here. And then what? Then I'll, I'll get rolling. Look at that. There's a crane set up way over there. That's so cool. Nothing. Yeah, like here. You see, you've got the chair. Stuck at the table. I mean, that could be slowing the game down. It really could be. Hey, there we go. Oh, come on, get out of there. Get out of there. I had it. I had it.
No, it doesn't want to unstick itself. So that's what I'm saying. There's stuff like that, right? That just... Stuff like that is all over the map. All right, let me see if there's any crates down here. No, not even worth it. All right, well, that's going to... Is that going to do it? Yeah, it's probably going to do it for this one here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Day one. Day one is always the worst. still smell. So I suspect it's just a cold, which is good. All right, so there's the crane there. So yes, yeah, so that's what I was saying. This this facility is is uh, different. I'm not too sure how the, the uranium comes out, if it shoots out. You know, like uh, how far away from the hopper am I gonna be able to have my bin? I'm definitely going to have to end this. Uh, I do apologize prematurely here. Just my nose is... Oh, come on. Is it not possible to run any faster? It might not be. Yeah, I'll just give me a moment here. Ah, there we go. There we go. Let's have to clean the nose. Right, so as you can see, the uranium, we dump in the top, and then it comes out here. So I'm hoping if I put a bin right here, it should just pour right into the bin. Yeah, that should be all right. Awesome. So, part one, setting up the crane. Not, not much. Not much, really. Like, was it? Oh, I should probably, I should probably turn it all off. Instead of driving away, just leave it running. Whoa. I wish they put a ladder on the side here. That'd be that would be handy, huh? Yeah. Probably could have driven up here with the Jeep too. That would have been handy also. Alright, so in the next video, we will go to the mine. And we will actually start to mine uh, the uranium. I'm so glad I built this crane. I knew it was gonna come in handy, and I'm glad that I was able to test it out on gold. Get sort of the kinks and the bugs worked out of it. So, I mean, I could just take the dump truck, and I could come here with a dump truck, and I could dump the dump truck right into one of these. So I guess the options are there for uh, for whatever. All right, that's gonna do it for this one here. Yeah, it's set up here. I'll just take this. Oh. Right on. Yeah, because it's going to be like 20 or 30. It's going to be like a 20-minute drive back in this thing back to the base there. 
I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can talk for that long. Uh, what lights three? I <laughs> got my, oh, blinded there. Got the hazmat suit on. Nice. Alrighty, so now it's a long drive back to here. There's our three wells. Needed some fuel. <laughs> I didn't realize how slow this thing is to get. that's gonna do it for that's gonna do it for today's video I have a long drive ahead of me back setting up the crane oh, let me turn the lights off here I want to get a nice shot of that there we go so we set the crane up here at the facility we explored it a little bit uh, yeah and then in the next video we are gonna start mining that's so sweet well, thank you so much for watching liking and subscribing and I will definitely see you all in the next one bye for now